The new Scott Pilgrim animated series on Netflix is finally here. So today let's talk about Scott Pilgrim Takes Off and see if it's worth your time. Hey everybody, my name is Justin here. I try to watch everything that hits theaters and on streaming services like Netflix. If you guys are like me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and click that bell notification for more up and coming content. After meeting the woman of his dreams, a charming musician finds himself contending with an army of her ex-boyfriends. I am a huge fan of Scott Pilgrim, the graphic novel and the movie. The movie directed by Edgar Wright is one of my all time favorite films. I have the graphic novels. I've actually met Brian Lee O'Malley back, I think like 2010. Uh, at a comic con. Uh, I love the video game for this movie as well So I was really looking forward to this animated series on Netflix and the huge draw to it is that it brought the original cast to voice these characters from Michael Sarah as Scott Pilgrim and Anna Kendrick and Aubrey Plaza and Chris Evans and Mary Elizabeth Winstead as Ramona I was immediately drawn into that and the the animation looked really great as well. One thing you need to know about this series without going into spoilers for it is that it's not the same story. It is vastly different than the graphic novel and the movie as well. It's more of a reimagining of Scott Pilgrim. Yes, you have the, the quirks of Scott Pilgrim in here and the story of the evil exes and Ramona, but they really change things up. And as someone who absolutely loves the graphic novels and that movie, a part of me was hugely disappointed that it wasn't the story from the graphic novels and the movie, but also part of me appreciated something different as it explored a lot more of the evil exes, who they were, and give a huge focus onto Ramona as a character. So, you know, there's part of me that, hey, I like it. Part of me, hey, man, I was hugely disappointed with this. Uh, but the animation, I really like the animation in here. I was able to bring a lot of those quirks, the video game references, the fun style to it, the, uh, the on-screen captions and things like that. That's all in here. And you see that love for um, Scott Pilgrim and the references that constantly are happening, it's fun within this series. And the voice actors, they you could tell that they just had a really good time with it. Michael Sarah brings the quirks to Scott Pilgrim once again. Chris Evans is like this macho man as one of the evil exes and Jason Schwartzman and Mary Elizabeth Winstead. They just match the characters that they played previously in the live action movie. The story goes off in this weird direction that starts to focus on Ramona as she starts to investigate more what happens to Scott Pilgrim. And you look at what happened in uh, the f for the first evil ex, um, Matthew Patel, and that is where the story starts to shift. That's where the story becomes like um, something, I don't want to spoil it, but it starts to become more of less, le it becomes less of Scott Pilgrim and more of Ramona. And at that point, uh, Ramona becomes our main character, and we start to really dive deep into this league of evil exes. The structure of it all, uh, their meetings, uh, sending out these messages. That's where we really get to know the evil exes very personally. And there adds, and it adds for a lot of development to them. You become, they become really likable characters despite being these evil exes. So I did appreciate that the series shifted away from what we know for Scott Pilgrim and then start to focus more on the evil exes and Ramona and also the love that she feels for Scott. It's not like Scott and Ramona together for a lot of the series. Mostly just like the couple in the beginning, couple at the end, and that's about it. But you do feel that love that she has and that curiosity of exploring uh, this relationship. And so... Um, we do get to see the evil exes uh, interacting with each other and we get to see them hanging out and being friends and then also interacting with Ramona and uh, bringing up past feelings of their relationship and what ended. So it just adds so much more to what was already 
nice and fun in the the graphic novels and the movie as well but part of me wanted to see more of a straightforward uh, version of the graphic novel and the movie because I love that story Ramona and Scott exploring their relationship Scott defeating these evil exes and winning over Ramona is one of my favorite stories I love the adrenaline and the zany moments within that movie and the graphic novels but here in the series there are a couple episodes that really do drag as Ramona is going from one evil ex to the other to ask questions about what had happened to Scott as he has disappeared. And uh, it's just kind of like the same thing again and again for like episodes three, four, five, and six. And as, but that does add, so that does add development to the evil exes, but it does it in a way that the pacing really drags. And it took me like several weeks to get through this series because I wasn't as. Uh, invested as I initially thought I was. When I got the screener for this, I was like, okay, I'm gonna jump in right away. I'm so excited. And then I just stopped watching it. And then I went back and watched a couple episodes again. And then I just got caught up. And so I, I didn't watch it as quickly as I thought I was going to be because I wasn't that like uh, excited and um, moved or impressed by everything that was happening because it moved at such a slower pace but there is a lot in here to really do appreciate bringing these voice actors back getting them all together was a probably a huge task for netflix but it really paid off the animation is fun it's bright it matches a lot of the graphic novels the video game references are a lot of fun i did appreciate a more of the in-depth look at the evil exes giving them a lot of personalities exploring friendships that i didn't think were going to happen in the first place but it takes it in this really bizarre direction uh, that at times was fun at times it, i had scratched my head with what was happening and you know like i said at times i wanted to see just an adaptation of the graphic novels i did appreciate something different very very different i will add that um but overall i i liked it um uh you maybe one day we'll get just a straightforward adaptation of the graphic novel in the movie but for right now it's a really bizarre something very different series it's just a reimagining of brian leo malley's graphic novels uh but also creating but also capturing the heart and tone of it and what made it so successful so before i give you my score for scott pilgrim takes off on netflix make sure to check out my channel here i do movie reviews trailer actions ranking videos tier lists all that fun movie related content that you see on youtube i do it all here so hit that subscribe button and get it all in one spot i'm gonna go ahead and give scott pilgrim takes off a b minus thank you guys for checking my review for scott pilgrim takes off have you guys seen it on netflix what do you think about it let me know in the comment section down below and stay tuned for more up and coming content like this my name is just watches movies and you guys stay classy youtube